Hey, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy SO8787 Productions. Um, it's been a while since I dropped the tutorial. Had a few people hit me up asking about multicam editing. Um, I touched on it once, uh, but I'm going to make a dedicated video for multicam editing right now. Hopefully, it helps you guys out. Hopefully, it answers any questions you have. So, let's get started. Um, you know, set up your library, set up your project. After that, go through, import your media. Um, I recommend leaving files in place and create proxy media because multicam editing takes a lot of uh, computer power. So if you don't want it to be choppy while you're trying to edit it, create proxy media. So go through, click that. Um, go through, select your files, any uh, performance scenes or any tracks that you want to sync up with music once you add your um footage in you want to go and find the actual track or the music and add that in as well so import it after that what i do is create a keyword collection by right clicking keyword collection name it uh you can name it performance scenes performance whatever you want to name it um go through find the performance scenes that you just imported in if you have b-roll mixed in with it uh, the easiest way to tell a performance scene in a b-roll like slow motion scene is the slow motion b-roll scenes aren't going to have any audio wave connected with it like it's going to be blank a performance scene is going to have the audio waveform with it so after that just drag it to performance or performance scenes whatever you named it Go through, drag another one. Um, if the if you have to like skip around, you can hold the I think it's the command key, and you can skip around like that if you know which numbers they are, and then drag it in all at once. Then after you get your um performance footage inside the keyword collection, you want to go through and add your music in as well and then click on the keyword collection once you're done so you should have something that looks like this all the performance scenes and the music so what you do after that is click the first file go down shift click the um, last file so everything is selected and go up to file new multi-cam clip or just right click and hit new multi-cam clip um, I usually name it the name of the song or the abbreviation. It's called Make a Move Multi Cam Clip. Um, make sure this is checked. Use audio for synchronization and make sure angle assembly is cam camera angle. Make sure this is automatic, automatic. Uh, leave this as whatever you shot it in. Um, leave this as whatever you shot it in, most likely. ProRes and then just hit OK. Might take a little minute. I already did it, so I'm not going to let it do it again. So, right now, the program is trying to sync up the files to the um, music. Once it's done, it's going to make a clip over here where your files are at the bottom. So you just click on it, drag it down to your timeline, double click on your multi-cam clip. Alright, so once you jump into your um, multi-cam clip by double clicking it, uh, you might find your music all the way at the bottom. What I do is drag it up to the top. Then you're going to have a monitor and you're going to have a speaker. So the speaker is going to play whatever um, angle that is highlighted on. So make sure you have the music highlighted. Click that speaker. And then just go to your first angle. Click that angle. Click that speaker. And then go through. Alright, it sounds in sync. Go to the next one. Click this speaker off, click this speaker on, click the monitor on.
yeah so just go through every track make sure it's in sync sometimes final cut isn't able to um sync every track up so you might find something like this like a track way over here or a clip way over here and you could clearly see that that's not in sync so what you do at that point is go to the music and you want to find like a a spot in the music that would be easy to um sync the clip up with so maybe like uh when the beat comes in and the intro or maybe when the hood starts or when the verse starts so if you got a part of the beat with a breakdown in it um you could do it like that so i know around here there's a breakdown you can see it i'm gonna use that so i'm going to put the cursor right there click on the track all right so i'm gonna use that right there i'm gonna add a marker by pressing m when the um the drums drop out all right so now i have a point to sync my um clip up with so you go ahead and just drag this clip over and look for that same spot in the clip so take the speaker off the music for now click the monitor on here click the speaker on here and look for that same spot all right so right there uh, Add a marker. Uh, Alright, so go ahead and um just drag the clip in up to that marker for right now. There you go. And then take the clip, drag it up to this marker, cut the um speaker on on the music and just play it, see if it's in sync. So it's not there totally, but it's close. Let's see if it's too fast or too slow. Alright, so it's too slow. So that means it needs to go over to the left. So what you do at this point is click on the clip. And you're going to use your comma key. The comma key is going to move it to the left. The period key is going to move it to the right. So if the music was too fast, I would have to move it to the right. Since it's too slow, I need to move it over to the left. So what I do at this point is just let it play, and I'm gonna be hitting the comma key till it syncs up. So right now, it just sound like gibberish but just keep doing it till you sync it up go back start over again keep hitting that comma key till it syncs up So yeah, it's pretty much in sync at this point. So what I do is go ahead and drag this clip back out and go through it again, make sure everything's synced up. Make a move, make a move, make a move. Real people do real things, it's real life, it ain't fake. It was that a telegrams or blow on your stereo, right? Two out of three on the stereo. So yeah, to recap, if you get a clip that's not in sync because Final Cut couldn't sync it up. Find a marker in the music that's easy to catch. Drop a marker there. Find a marker on the clip, that same mark. Drop it there. Drag this in to the marker and then just move the track over either left or right till you get it close. Um, once it's close, just let it play and hit either the comma key to move it to the left or the period key to move it to the right till it syncs up. Um, that's the easiest way, the best way I know how to do it. 
Um, the best way to avoid having to do anything manually, make sure the audio is clear when you're shooting. Make sure the speaker is um, close enough to the camera so it catches the music clearly, not distorted or nothing like that. And if you do all of that, you won't have to um, come back and manually sync it up later because it does take time. It's very tedious. If you got like 10 tracks that's not synced up, you just got to go ahead and do it manually. Um, if you record the audio clear, find a cut and handle it for you. So yeah, once you get everything synced up, just uh, go ahead and drag your music to the bottom. And then... Click on this arrow here to jump back into the timeline. All right, so once you have everything synced up and you're back in the timeline, uh, you can start editing your multi-cam clip. So what you want to do is go up to View, Show Angles. Make sure Proxy is selected so it runs smoothly. Um, this is kind of small, so you could go ahead and close this window right here for now. And click on your multi cam clip. You're going to see it up here. It's going to be yellow. So, what you want to do is click this uh, audio waveform. Make sure it's green. Take the cursor to the top of the track and click on the, um, the speaker, which is your audio which is your music. Make sure that's green and then click on this uh, video only switching right here in the middle. Make sure that's blue. That's how you're going to select the clips. So depending on how many clips you have you could, or how many angles you have, you can do two angles. You can do four, you can do nine, or you can do 16. So I usually keep it on 9. Make sure the blue is selected. If you had a yellow selected, you're going to mess up the audio. So matter of fact, just to be on the safe side, what I also do is right click on the multi-cam clip. Detach my audio completely because I don't want the audio to move at all. If it does, it's going to throw everything out of sync. So just detach it. Leave it right here by itself. Come back up to the multi-cam clip and um, start from there. Go ahead and make sure this is selected blue and it's uh, one or two ways that you can um, begin to chop your your video up. You can either do like this by selecting each box as it goes let the music play. So for instance something like that or how I usually do it is the numbers on the keyboard on the right hand side the number pad it goes with these angles so for instance block number one is going to be number one on the keypad block number five will be number five on the keypad so you can let it play and just hit the numbers as it goes so for instance So it's that simple. That's the main reason I haven't switched over to any other platform. Um, I'm, I don't know if you could do it over in Premiere. I'm pretty sure you can, but I learned it in um, Final Cut. I'm quick with it. So I just stick to Final Cut. Makes it so much easier to chop up your videos. If you get everything um, synced up correctly and let Final Cut just sync up the music in the clips for you. Just makes it so much easier. Saves a lot of time. So those are the two ways that you could go through and edit your video. So once that's all said and done, 
you could go in and start dropping in your b-rolls or you could um drop the b-roll i usually drop the b-rolls in while i'm chopping up um the multi-cam clip so i might throw that right here real people do real things you know just something like that or you could go through and chop up the whole song, get a rhythm going, and then go ahead and drop the um, B-rolls in later. Whatever you want to do. So let me show you the uh, the finished um, session so you can see how it looks. So once you're done, it'll look something like this. You got your multi-cam clip all chopped up. Then you got your B-rolls in there. And then you got your titles. Then you got your color grading. Yeah, yeah, that's how it look when it's done. I'm gonna go ahead and play the beginning of the track so you can see how it looks. So yeah, that's multi-cam clip editing. Hopefully I explained it good. Been a while since I did a tutorial, kind of shaky. Um, hopefully it's clear. Hopefully you understand. Um, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to hit up the comment section. Uh, you can reach out to me on Instagram or through email. My Instagram is uh, so underscore GMFF. This video is actually a track that me and my homie Lamont did um I know you guys seen you might have seen Lamont I shot a couple of his videos there on the page um I had somebody else shoot it and I got the footage from them and went ahead and edited it um it'll be dropping pretty soon should be till next time please like subscribe comment any questions feel free to hit me up um thank you for your time